crypto party people! I'm Fink, and this is my NFT show! Welcome to the show, everybody! Got another great one lined up for you today. We are going to do a colorful showcase. Why a colorful showcase? Because I couldn't decide what to do. I kept on seeing a couple NFTs that I really liked, couldn't really fit them under one category, but I noticed, me being me, they were all ones that used great use of colors, or were just very colorful, so I decided that's what we'll go with. We'll just make a colorful ass showcase. So here it is. Relax, enjoy, and let me show you some really colorful or great use of color NFTs. All right, we're gonna start off with a little bit of sexy today. We're gonna bring up number 10 GGC Genesis Elsa. This is by Girls Gone Crypto off the Girls Gone Crypto collection on OpenSea. I do believe they just uh, became for sale like two nights ago or something. This uh, collection just launched. And man, are they gorgeous. Talk about a literally hot ass collection. Bam. Uh, yeah, gorgeous women on each NFT. And then they're also just so beautifully covered, colored. That is why I chose this one. I thought that pink sky and that purple blue grass was just really a great use of color. Everything really pops out in this NFT. Awesome job. Check out that collection. They are new and they are up and coming. I think there's some pretty good shit. Check out The Girls Gone Crypto on OpenSea. Alright, now I'm going to bring up Closer to Fall. This is off the DLA Polygon Collection on OpenSea. And it is by DLA. That stands for Doge Lovers Art. And this whole collection is just some very miraculously colored landscape NFTs. This one really grabbed my attention. I, again, the use of colors. It don't always take a whole lot of colors, different colors. You can use a few colors and just make something really pop. And I feel like they did that in this NFT with the red and the blue. It just is really great. That red down there beside the stream and that blue sky just really worked together to make that red pop right off the page to me really thought that was cool this whole collection is just some really gorgeous landscape nfts make sure you check those out they are by dla on OpenSea. again links for everything in the description all right and now it is my absolute pleasure to present board ape yacht club number 5094 campadunk punk derivative number one that is off of the Camp and Dunk Punk Derivative Collection on OpenSea by the same people that brought you the Camp and Dunk Punks. It is just, and again, absolute pleasure to put an ape up on the screen. The Board Ape Yacht Club is just who we all strive to be. We all want that ape in our wallet. Every single one of us. And yeah. Congratulations, Mr. Rick Stack. This is a gorgeous ape you have there, and I really like this derivative. Uh, I've showed off Camp and Dunk Punks before on the show because I just think there's some gorgeous art. They really are. He does this all in the uh, style of Heinrich Camp and Dunk, who was a painter in the late 1800s to early and mid 1900s. And yeah, I uh, really love the style, really love the colors. It's, they're always beautiful, and yeah, he started out with the punks. I thought this derivative was awesome. Uh, thank you, Rick Stack, for letting me put your derivative of the punk up on the screen. I'm also going to pop up real quick the picture of the physical uh, Board Ape Yacht Club derivative here. Uh, read the post. Mr. Rick said that it's just so awesome to see his ape hanging on his wall. I'm sure as shit that it is. That is just awesome. Great work, Camp and Donk Punks. Keep it up. Great stuff. Check them out. They are on Open Sea. All right, now I'm going to bring up BOF number 13. Uh, that's Birds of a Feather, Season 1 collection on Open Sea, and it is by the White Hawk. Uh, First off, the White Hawk is a great member of this NFT community. If you see them, you definitely want to give them a follow. They are one of the people that even if they aren't out making show threads and all that, they get on and reply to people's art. That's awesome. Uh, 
makes my day whenever I get a positive comment on one of my pieces on one of the threads, and I'm sure it does everybody else's too, and it really only takes a second to give somebody that joy there just making a simple comment, and Mr. Whitehawk does that a lot of times for a lot of people, which is very awesome of him. He's a great member of the community, and in this piece here, he shows that you don't have to fill the whole screen with color to make a really awesomely colored piece. Uh, this collection on OpenSea has a lot of these uh, bird photos with just crazy coloring in them. Uh, there's a lot of flamingos. I was pretty torn whether I wanted to use a flamingo or use this parrot, honestly, but this pair is just beautiful. This, again, the use of color here is incredible. It don't take up the whole screen, but what is there is just absolutely gorgeous. Great work, White Hawk. And everybody, check that out. Check the collection out. Birds of a Feather, Season 1 on Open Sea. All right, now we're going to bring up Mind Venture number 10. This is on Calament by Stanley T. Crawford. And... I just think this is an absolutely awesome piece. I really love it. I love myself some painted jokers. I love myself the Joker. He is just an iconic character, and Heath Ledger's Joker was just a total pop culture icon and will be for probably the rest of time. It is a total tragedy that he left us all shortly after doing this role, but again, in the one time he played it, just totally nailed it. Just a totally incredible one, Joker. Uh, really love this homage to his Joker character from The Dark Knight. Great job, Stanley. This is just a beautiful piece. It's just, it looks painted. The colors are awesome. Those blue greens that he used are just cool shit. Really awesome piece. Uh, Stanley has collections on OpenSea, Calament, a uh, few different things. Check out all of his work. It's all pretty good shit. And yeah, uh, definitely check that one out. Like I said, that's off his Calament collection. All right, and now I'm going to bring up a little bit of my own colorful work. We're going to start off with the Soulless Pumpkin Patch. This is my Halloween collection that I'm doing. And I like my colors. I thought that, that really bright yellow with the red tip on the bottom with that orange into the darker orange background just really played well with each other. The blue pumpkin with the pink stem. I just thought it was a pretty cool piece. That's on the Soulless Pumpkin Patch Collection on OpenSea. It's all on the Polygon chain, and it's going to be a very limited collection. I'm making these uh, pumpkins as I get time to make them, and once October ends, I'm not going to make them anymore, so whatever gets done by that time gets done. Each pumpkin gets a regular lighted version, one with it under the black light, because they're all done in neon pinks, and then a GIF version of it under the regular light and the black light. Uh, a lot of those I'm using for giveaways and such, so keep an eye on my account, because you might just get a chance to win yourself one of the Solus Pumpkin Patch. And now, fitting in with the episode, just incredibly, I thought, and I didn't have the idea till this morning, but I just mended this just yesterday morning, this is Jump Scare, and uh, yeah, I just kind of been into the whole Halloween horror thing this month and watching some horror flicks and stuff like that, and I'm always a fan of the jump scares whenever something, everything just looks normal and all of a sudden, wah, there it is, and you jump and you pee your pants a little bit. I think it's fun, and I tried to make an NFT that kind of relayed that effect there because under the normal light, you really can't see much of the face. You can once you notice it, but not near as much as you can see as you can whenever it's under the black light. So that is Jump Scare. That is off the Finkers collection on OpenSea. Also have some stuff on Foundation. Support Fink. Support the NFT show. Please check out my stuff. All right, and now before we go, I want to remind you again, check out that Spooktober event, y'all. It is the absolute shit. It is being ran out of Discord by the Moonland Institute, and it is just a great time for everybody involved, and anybody can be involved. Just pop in. There is different poetry contests, art contests, invite contests, game nights, just all kinds of stuff, and it's just turning into a real cool tight group of friends in there in the Discord, all hanging out, having a good time, and earning some spook points that, that we're all going to use in the end towards some really cool NFTs that have been shipped into the pot 
by people like myself, Mobius Strip, Hash Bastards, Kush Cabin, High Ghost, many more. That's just a few. It's incredible. It's a great event. It's one of the funnest things that I've seen happen in the NFT community. Total blast. Thank you so much, Moonlight Institute. And thank you all, lovely people, for watching my show. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Fink's NFT Show.